Okay, so when given a nice little triangle like this, what is one way that we can be able to identify what the missing side lengths and uh, side lengths and angles are going to be? Well, depending on what information we're given, we can use um, certain kind of formulas and laws. One of the first one is what we call the law of sines. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write down uh, these proportions. And what it says, what the law of sine states is A over sine of A is equal to B over sine of B, which is equal to C over sine of C. All right. Now we're going to apply law of sines in a lot of different cases, and especially kind of even piggyback them off of the the law of cosines, but we're only going to apply, to start off, we're only going to apply the law of sines when we have angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, and side, side, angle. All right? So when you're looking at a problem and it, you know, it asks you, oh, what are the missing side lengths or what is the missing angle? And you can go and apply that you have angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, or side, side, angle then you're going to, you can apply the law of sines, all right? So today, what we're going to do is we're just going to work on these first two cases. We'll get to this one, which has the possibility of being what we call our ambiguous case. You can either have no triangle, or two triangles, or one triangle with the side-side angle, all right? So we're just going to work on these two. These will give you exactly one triangle. This is what we call our ambiguous case, where we'll work on that next class period when we have a little more time, all right? But for right now, you guys just need to know this formula and then need to know when we apply the formula. All right, remember back to geometry days? Going back, yeah. So when we have these two, that's when you guys are going to apply it.